Welcome to Naples, Florida, the Paradise Coast. We are thrilled to be with you on CBS Sports Network, the 2016 Flyboard World Cup Championships, brought to you by Zapata Racing. We are here at Sugden Regional Park. I'm Tom James, alongside Flyboard expert Stefan Denis and competitor Jordan Wayman. We've got an incredible bracket, gentlemen, to look at with a lot of very talented guys. Let's take a look at the top seed, all the way up at the top of the bracket. Rippy could go all the way. Yeah, Damon's been training really hard. He's been uh, flying in China every day. I know he's been uh, really looking forward to taking the championship, and he's been training a lot to do this. Stefan, down at the bottom, the number two seed, a guy who is on his game right now, Suksan Tongtai from, from Thailand. Thailand. One of the best riders in the world for the kingdom of Thailand. Two times world champion in 2013 in Doha, in 2014 in Dubai. One of my favorites is like a cat. You're going to see that. Let's take a look at the rules. 32 pro contestants. Each gets a two-minute run until the finals where you get four minutes. Each judge will cover these categories, technicity, variety, showmanship, and energy. And disqualifications happen. When your personal watercraft goes outside the perimeter, the first time it's a warning, the second time you're eliminated, or if your watercraft flips, you're disqualified. The first of four quarterfinal showdowns in the top seed, Damon Rippey, ready to take on the eighth seed, Cooper Riggs. And here is Riggs taking flight. What can you tell me about this guy? Well, I've seen him in the World Cup in Doha, Qatar, where uh, I believe he placed uh, second in that. Right, exactly, Stephane? yeah. He finished second and third during the World Cup 2015 in Dubai. Yeah, so he's a very, very w good rider, very skilled. Bing! A triple backflip right there, right off the bat for Riggs. Look at that really good level. There it is again, the Another infinity one. flip. Oh, going back. Riggs hits the water. How will the judges view the infinity flip? But then he, he uh, hit the water. How will they look at that? Yeah, he was trying to take it to the next step with a universal flip, and that's going back to the original first, like the, he did on the first flip, but he did hit the water pretty hard, so I think he will get some points stocked off of that. Riggs has been at it for three years. Likes the competition, but just loves the craft. Emotions to the judges with a thumbs up. You see, he's disappointed. He wants to ride more. <laughs> he says, yeah, I'm not done yet. <laughs> yeah, I'm not done. I want to show you. Yeah, watch well, one thing about this sport. When you start flying, you don't ever want to come down. It's very addicting. Damon Rippey enters the zone and is ready for his qualifying run as he takes on Cooper Riggs, trying to better what Riggs just did. Yeah, in my opinion, I think this competition is going to be Damon Rippey. And we'll just have to see what he does from here. Look at that. Look at how fast he can go. He's one of the best riders in the world. Look at the double backflip. It looks like it's only one back. It's so fast. Amazing double backflip and then the spin. And always 100% control. Look at him. Rippy has brought a lot of exposure to this sport. He was on America's Got Talent season 10. Showing off the flyboard. Yeah, that was really good. Uh, a, a big, big event for the flyboard. Help us get some exposure. They called him the cute flyboarder. <laughs> wow. Just so fast, so close from the holes. And there's the whistle. Ten seconds. He didn't miss much there. Let's take a look at what the judges have to say. And it looks like it's unanimous. Damon Rippey is moving on what to the next prize. round. That's right. And Mackenzie's got both competitors down on the dock. All right, Damon, it was a unanimous vote across the board. And I know you're very familiar with these type of competitions. What's the key to pacing yourself throughout this tournament? Uh, you know, I'm not too great at pacing myself. <laughs> Get kind of out of breath, but... You just try to do your best, you know? You just try to go up and rip it the best you can. All right, That's what I try to do. <laughs> thank you so much. Back to you guys. Take a look at another quarterfinal matchup. Steve Palma 
He's the 21st seed against the 29th seed, Hussein Ibrahim. The next quarterfinal, one of the faces of this sport, Hussein Ibadi from the Maldive Islands, known for the hair and the incredible tricks, guys. Here we go with the flyboard Rasta, one of the most coolest guys in the flyboard family. During the quarterfinals, he had a face off with Sonny Bean. He got a rematch uh, with him at the European Championships where he, be he beat Sonny Bean uh, to be here in the semifinal or to the quarterfinals. It was a big surprise and he did it very well. Hussein seeded number 29 coming into the competition. He is a fan favorite, no question about it. And there's a backflip. Very nice combo put together right there. And Hussein Abadi beckons to the bleachers. Steve Palma takes flight in his quarterfinal run. Can he outdo Hussein? I believe he can. Um, he had a lot of work to get here. The battle he had before he got to the the quarterfinals, uh, they, the judges had to do a lot of review on both of the battles because they were so close. He's such a competitive rider. That's one thing that really separates Steve from all the other, uh, from the competitors is he's really fast and he, he keeps going and going and going and always throwing different combinations. Uh, I think it's out of the zone now. You need to go back. Gets the water so it's very close to the zone. You gotta be within those buoys. What are the judges gonna say about that? You know, if they start their trick outside of the buoys and they'll, they'll, they'll deduct them some points, or if they land out of, the, out of the course, they will also deduct points as well. As we talked about, it's really not all about tricks with this. It's also about how clean they are in their competition. How clean do you think he has been so far? You know, at the start of the run, he started really well, started clean, but once again, these rounds are so long, they get fatigued and start hitting the water a little bit. For a berth in the semifinals, it's going to be Palma or Hussein. We'll see what the judges say. And here are the results. A couple for Steve. There's one for Hussein. Hussein and Steve to break the tie. And Steve Palma is the winner. And he is moving on. Mackenzie down on the dock. Steve, you're moving on, but it was a really close call for the judges. But what was it like going up against your best friend? Because I saw Hussein cheering for you here on the dock. Yeah, but you know, we train all the time together, and I'm, he's my brother, you know. I, it's you difficult, love, you know, but you yeah, yeah. Okay. he's the fly king, you know, from Maldives. Hussein Ibrahim. <laughs> all right, thank you so much. Back to you guys. Coming up next, the other two quarterfinal matchups. And don't move. You're not going to believe a big surprise we have coming up.